the aortic valve is a valve that is right at the outlet of the heart. Well, that valve can, can, ge can be diseased in two ways. It either doesn't close, so it's got a leaky valve, or it gets narrow and thickened, so the heart pushes with a very good struggle. Like, it, it really takes time and effort, and it becomes inefficient, and you start having what we call heart failure symptoms. So my role uh, uh, as a surgeon is to deliver the best valve possible for that patient. The Percival plays a big role. This valve is mounted on a self-expandable frame made out of a special alloy called nitinol. So essentially, you can shrink it down to a, like a certain, uh, I would say, delivery system, which is no bigger than a pen. And the valve is just self-expand itself, and it accommodates on a place. So it's better in terms of saving some time for the heart being with no blood. Also, it allows you to, because of the, the, uh, the, uh, this unique uh, characteristic of the valve that is self-expandable, the valve can always be bigger than the other comparable to the same size because it kind of pushes out the root. And we also know over time that bigger for the valve is better, okay? It allows you better flow, hemodynamics are better, the heart recover better. Also, which is, I think is now, uh, um, it becomes a very important um, issue is that we can deliver this valve through a very, very small incision because you don't need all these stitches and it makes it easier. We are doing what we call the ultra mini sternotomy. It's just no more than two or three centimeters, just enough to push this valve through. It's all about getting a, 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 a very customized option for that patient. When you decide to put the person on somebody, one of the most important things is it's, it's the size. I always like the example is going to buy shoes. You know, you always, you try the shoes that is perfect for your, for your feet, right? This is exactly the same. If you miss the size, uh, it's a problem. So before that, we have a very good understanding of every patient's anatomy. So size-wise, the relationship between the, all the parts of the aortic root where the valve is going to be actually placed. So once we're in the operation, we resize it. We have a special devices, uh, a sizes, uh, a sizer devices that are, that are dedicated for this valve. So even knowing how, how big or how small it is, we resize it in the operating room. Like you go, you test your shoes. You put them on and you walk in back and forth and make sure they're fine. All patients are different. So once we pick the size, then we, we get the valve that we need and that valve is mounted on the delivery system. We already have, you know, uh, taken down or resected the old deceased valve. So then we use just three single stitches. The valve comes with eyelids, so, so these stitches go through it just as guiding. So when, when we put the valve down, we just, the valve is lie down, and when it's in position, you just deploy it, the valve opens up and gets in position, and that's it. In a center like this, essentially nobody dies. It's less than 1% mortality. Uh, and and uh, if you compare that to what is the uh, the national database, that goes to three four percent. Three percent mortality is something that is very good. You said it's very good. Well, we are we're below that. If you have a an isolated uh, aortic valve problem, you need an isolated aortic valve replacement. You should go to a center like this, like mean high volume, high experience, and the results are close to hundred percent successful.